it's Denise, and I want to welcome you to Planning on Aisle 64. Let's get started. This is my layout from last week. As you can see, it's pretty in-depth, and I like the way it turned out. I've tried this dimensional tassel and some other things, but this week, I'm going to take things just a little bit simpler. So this is my layout for this week, and as you can see, it's already done. I really wanted a much simpler layout this week. This is the uh, first week that the students actually come back, and I know there's going to be a lot going on, so I wanted to have plenty of white space so that I could write in whatever I needed to do. So let me just share with you what I've done. First of all, I wanted to use these checkbox flags to indicate where I can put in my daily to-dos. And so across the top, I've got a to-do, then a blank label, to-do, a blank label. And then on Saturday, I've got to clean, and on Sunday, I've got to go. Because these are the days I'm usually doing some cleaning and running around, that kind of thing. On Monday, the first day that the students are back, I've got uh, my Monday momentum call that takes place at 7.30 that morning. So I'll be excited to kind of get that call out of the way, get motivated for the week. And then, of course, Monday evenings, I always watch Scorpions. So during the day, though, you can see it's pretty much clear. But notice this little email boxes that I've got, or email stickers, I should say, that I've got all the way across Monday through Friday, reminding me to check my email first thing in the morning because there'll be lots of emails that I'll be getting from students as they come back for that first week. And then I love this sweet little banner that I layered here. So I used kind of a full box paper tiles here all the way across from my paper stacks. But then I layered them with these um, cute little banners. And then, of course, this nice little kind of a crenellated edge circle. Makes me think of Mardi Gras, these colorings, actually. But I just really wanted to try to work with the purple and let the purple boxes at the bottom show through. I wanted to see if I could figure out how to use these boxes this week. And I'm thinking that what I'm going to do is maybe put in the meals that I have um, each day. And then also think about what are my top three actions for the week. And then consider what are my top three actions for the day. So here on Wednesday is my first clinical orientation, and then on Thursday is clinical orientation. So these two stickers here were ones that I could actually write on. They're a matte kind, and I really enjoyed that. And then I put in a word phrase here, lessons learned from one of my Reset Girl kits, because this will be my first face-to-face -face class. So I use this little notebook here uh, to indicate that I've got class, and I will be giving them notes that night. And uh, since it's also Thursday, which is a clinical day, I've got this little stethoscope there, too, to kind of mark that. And then, of course, TGIT. Thank goodness it's Thursday because that's the night I watch Scandal, How to Get Away with Murder, and Grey's Anatomy if I'm home in time. So I'm really looking forward to this Thursday evening. Notice also, I've got this little plan today word phrase. This came from one of my Scarlet Line Planner Society kits, and I just thought it would be nice to remind me here to make sure that I'm checking my planner, but then also, I like to um, use Monday and Tuesday evenings to kind of look forward to see what I've got going on for the week, especially since I've got Wednesday and Thursday clinical orientation. I'll be using Tuesday to make sure I've got everything planned out. On Friday, we've got our uh, faculty meeting. I probably also have a USAP meeting that day. And then uh, Saturday, my Weight Watchers class. I've started going back to my Weight Watchers meetings, and I go to the 7.30 class, and so I intend to do that, and I'll let you know how my weigh-in goes. And then Friday, uh, or rather Saturday evening or afternoon, I'll be doing some YouTube video, working on the budget, and then also posting to Instagram. Sunday, I watch Madam Secretary, Sunday evening, here's another word phrase, and so it goes, because this is pretty much how my week goes. So I just put, and so it goes, just to remind myself that this is a cycle. Once school starts on Monday the 11th, this is the way it's going to be until the end of the semester. 
I really thought this large flag here was really cute. And I don't know, this is what makes me think of Mardi Gras, these colors here. But I just thought I'd throw them in because I thought it was just gorgeous. And then the word phrase is reminding me to be kind and to be thankful. And as you know, my words for the year are focus, plan, execute, and care. And so as I'm doing that, I'm reminding myself to be kind and to be thankful. This little drop here is just a reminder that I'm also supposed to get in my water. And um, it's also just nice and colorful and picks up the color scheme that I've got going on here. I put this little paper note here with the little washi tape to remind me what are my top three actions for the week and then my top three actions that I need to get done each day. So I can write those little notes on here or I can put the notes under there too if I need to write something in addition. So this is my layout for the week. As you can see, it's a lot cleaner than what I normally do, but I really needed to make sure that I could focus on what I had going on and had plenty of room to write things in. So that's it for now from Planning on Aisle 64. I hope you will join me again next week.